Another new Revit 2019 feature is the addition of OR rules inside of my rule-based filters. So prior to 2019, when you were creating your filters, elements had to meet every condition, every rule inside of the filter for that filter to collect it. So they were being controlled by an AND qualifier. So with the addition of OR conditions, you have the ability to have elements meet one of the filter conditions instead of all of them. So obviously that's going to help you with possibly some typos or ways people kind of add information that might be inconsistent, but it's also going to help you group things that before you had to meet, um, you had to meet everything very specifically and you had to create different rules for them. Now, the other thing you can do is add sets inside of here. So um, I've added an and set here because I got my fire rating that I'm checking by, but now I'm going to add another rule that is going to come and look for my function and just make sure that I only get my uh, exterior walls, which doesn't make a ton of sense, but there you go. So you can have um, or conditions on your sets, you can have and conditions on your sets, and this complexity is going to give you a lot more control when creating the logic there for creating those rule-based filters, and it's going to let you kind of compress not all of your filters now, but I know that there were plenty of times that, that I had to break up what I wanted to be a single filter into multiple filters because I had to meet that and condition. And now that I can take those multiples and put them all together in a single one, it's going to make it easier to manage and control how those all end up controlling the appearance of elements inside of my models.